Uh, this is my review of the um, Kevy case um, from KevyCab.com. Uh, it's a leather case for the actual Zoom. Uh, very nicely made case, uh, nice leather uh, texture, uh, cowhide texture, has um, all the cutouts for the Zoom. And it's, um, it's this new version. This version, compared to some of the other ones he's had, um, actually uh, has uh, inside uh, a plastic as opposed to a cardboard uh, so that it gives you um, better, um, I would say, it's, it's more compact and it's also uh, more rigid as you stand it up or, or use some of the features of the case. Let's go ahead and insert the zoom to see um, how all of the ports stay exposed. We'll tuck this right here in the bottom. And let's review how the ports are exposed. So here um, are your charging ports, your ports for connecting to a PC with your uh, USB as well. You have accessible also uh, your audio. You see that's accessible, it's easy to grab. Um, you have here your headset jack with access to your actual camera. One of the things that was concerned to me originally when I looked at this case was, you'll notice, I'll see if I can put it in an angle, you can see that it's kind of a little raised from the bottom. Uh, where the camera is. I was concerned that would that cover up the camera. I can tell in, in my testing it really doesn't and I would expect that with time that leather will kind of stretch out a little bit or will kind of rest more but it's, um, it's not a major deal uh, breaker there. Uh, you also have your LED component or compartment here so you can see you can see right through there that the my LED is actually going off because I have some emails that have come in and the other thing that uh, this has is a magnetic enclosure. Uh, so when you do close the case, it will not open. So as I hold it this way, you'll notice that it has not opened because it has a uh, magnetic uh, closure there. So when you open it up, um, it has a little snap to it. It also supports um, this little connection here so that you can actually stand it up. We have our openings for our speakers and uh, for our camera. And let's see how it would look in a, uh, let's say a keyboard mode. We'll go ahead and place the flap behind that and uh, turn on the zoom. And as you can see, again, pretty sturdy, uh, no problems there, and it gives you a good typing area. I can also position it this way for, uh, for movie viewing. Again, also very sturdy. Uh, and all in all, I think it's a good case. Some of you have uh, made comments about this case in the past about not being able to plug it in uh, with the case on to charge overnight, especially since uh, once you close it, those ports are open, or actually closed. I don't see a big problem with that. I actually, uh, as I place my case to charge, have no problem keeping it open like this. I use my, uh, my Zoom at night for reading, and most times when I put it back on my nightstand, it is open anyway. So having that exposed um, only when it's open doesn't present uh, a major uh, drawback for me. The case is very slim. That was the other thing that uh, he had mentioned and said that he had done some changes or modifications to make it slimmer, tighter fit. And I can tell you all in all, it's, it's a great case, especially for, for the buy-in. There are not many good cases out there for the Zoom yet, so if you are interested, I'd consider this case. Thank you.